Well, here we are everybody on our last video in this 12 days of Christmas series. I hope you've enjoyed the tips I've shared. I have one more for you and it's a good one. It's one that often people will forget, okay? It's simply one photo that you can't forget to take on a wedding day. It's something that we've forgotten to take in past weddings and past years and it's something I always try and get because it's an essential, essential, essential photo, okay? So before I share, before I tell you, if you've enjoyed this series, please like and subscribe if you found these, uh, these, these videos helpful. And uh, the last tip I have, the last thing I have to share with you, one thing, one photo you cannot forget to take on the wedding day, and that is of the bride and groom looking right into camera, okay? This is for grandma's mantle, all right? This is what we call the grandma's mantelpiece shot, all right? Grandma, the photo for grandma's mantle. It's a photo that your parents will hang up in their stairway hallway, right? Uh, it's the photo that may hang over the, mantel uh, the mantelpiece of your own fireplace, all right? And so, this is a very important photo to get because it's the photo that's actually gonna be the one that lives on for generations, okay? This is a very important photo. I don't know how else to say that. It's just a really important photo to take and it's one that often goes overlooked because we're focused on getting the artsy shots or the really cool photos, the candid, kind of the candid photos of the couple. Maybe they're looking at each other or they're sharing a kiss or their noses are together or she, he's, given, he's dipping her. You know, something, something more fun than just arms around each other looking into camera. So, but don't forget to take that photo. Please, please, please don't forget to take that photo because it's one everybody needs. It's one everybody wants, whether they say it or not. It's not the most exciting tip. It's not the most exciting photo, but it is one that you always need to get, all right? And if you wanna go a step further, get this shot of both the bride's parents and the groom's parents because that will go a long way as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tip. I hope it was helpful. Definitely, definitely, definitely keep that photo locked in your back pocket, in the back of your mind maybe, or if you wanna bring it to the forefront because you're forgetful like me, put it in a photo list on your phone, set a reminder on your phone, and tell Siri to remind you to take a photo of, uh, of the bride and groom looking right into camera. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, this series overall. If you have any questions, if you have anything you want to learn, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as usual. Ring the bell so you get notified when I release new content. And uh, I will see you guys in the new year.